8th grade, I, along with Kritish Trivari, will host today's assembly. Respected teachers and fellow students, we extend a warm welcome to all of you to our special assembly organized by the IT and Robotics Club. We have an exciting program lined up that aims to educate, entertain, and inspire us all. Let us all get ready for command and prayer. Please join your hands and close your eyes and start with इतनी शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर होना इतनी शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर होना हम चले नेक रास्ते पे हम से भूल कर भी कोई भूल होना इतनी शक्ति हमें दे मन का विश्वास शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर होना Journey. Dinner is ready. Dinner. That thing we do every night at the table that gets all the dishes dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, honey. I much too excited to eat. Now, after all these weeks patiently waiting, I'd like you to go to meet Vicky. 
Vicky. Oh, my voice input child identicant. V I C I. I pronounce it Vicky. Vicky. That's cute. Come in here, Vicky. Say hello to my family. Hello to my family. <laughs> Are you putting this on? That's a real kid, right? No, no, it's a robot. Oh, Ted, that's incredible. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. What time is it, Vicky? The time is seven forty-three and twenty seconds. <laughs> Man, that child looks like a real girl and feels like a girl. Yeah, it's new synthetic material. They use for artificial limbs, just like real skin. And smells like a girl. I use some mom's perfume. Do you like the way I dress her, Johnny? Oh, and that's real human hair. Do you like it, Johnny? I mean, would you rather have a red hat? <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Please put it back. So, how do you like it? Ted, I am lost for words. It's suddenly like having another child in the house. Yeah, only this time I gave a birth. <laughs> Dad, do we have to wind up her with the keys or something? No, no, no. It's activated by lights. You see, its eyes here are solar cells, and its brain is data flow system using water scale integration with the data pads hooked into the self-organizing symbolic array processor. That makes sense. Yep. Ted, how do we treat her? Like it was a real child. It responds to any voice command that I programmed it to know everything, to be able to do everything that human ten year old can do. Well, at least it's supposed to you have remembering that it's still in the experimental stage. I am pleased to meet you. I am Jimmy. I am pleased to meet you. I am Vicky. Shake hands. Wow. It can be used as a tape recorder. Dad, can I keep Vicky in the cabinet with my other toys? Oh sure, I guess so. Ted, you can't keep a child in a cabinet. Honey, it's not a child. It's an IT. It's a machine. Here, look, see. It's an electronic device. <laughs> She got mad instead of gizzards. John, you have to keep remembering that it's not real. It won't be easy. Boy, this is blast. I've got my own robot. Let's go, Vicky. Now, Jimmy, it's not perfected yet. You see what I mean? You have got watch it every minute. Vicky, are you okay? I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. Oh, bumping into the door must have affected the voice mode. Now I'm going to have take it all apart, examine the voice circuits. I can fix it, Dad. I am okay. Like I fixed the tape recorder. Now I don't want it to out of the house. All right. I mean, this is what we call top secret, right? Right. The top secret. Good morning, everyone from Class Ten C. On behalf of IT and Robotics Club. Let's take this opportunity to discuss the Information Technology Act of 2000. Friends, the Information Technology Act, also known as the IT Act, was introduced on January 9, 2000. This law came into existence on October 17, 2000. According to this law, information can be transmitted through various digital mediums such as mobile phones, computers. Or any other electronic devices. To conclude our special assembly, let us all stand for the national.